the Australian solar rebate in 2022. Is it ending? How much is it worth? And how do you claim it? Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, founder of solarquotes.com.au. I often get emails along the lines of, Hi, I've got a quote and the salesman told me the rebate is ending soon and I need to sign up right now before I miss out. That salesman is full of crap. At the time of filming, January 2022, there are no plans to end the rebate early. So show him the door and I'll explain what the rebate is, what it's worth and how it works. First, the solar rebate is not a check that you get in the mail. It's a line item discount on your quote that reduces the final price that you pay. Any solar system price you see advertised online, in the paper or on TV will have already had the rebate applied. Technically, the Australian Federal Solar Rebate is officially called the STC scheme. STC stands for Small Scale Technology Certificate. It's a bit of a mouthful and you can see why people prefer to call it the rebate. The nitty gritty of how STCs work is pretty boring. I've got a detailed article linked in the description if you really want to learn about it. But in short, every kilowatt of solar installed in Australia on systems under 100 kilowatts in size generate STC certificates. When you buy a system, you sign these over to your installer who then trades them in for cash. They need to gather a certain amount of STCs to be able to trade them efficiently. So when giving you the discount, they're essentially fronting you the money they will eventually make when they sell your STCs. The current value of STCs means that one kilowatt of solar on your roof attracts around about $430 in rebate. To use an example, a 6.6 kilowatt system will give you about $3,000 in rebate. The gross cost before rebate of a mid-range 6.6 kilowatt system is around $8,500. So once you apply the $3,000 rebate, the final price you pay the installer will be around $5,500. The STC scheme is designed to be phased out, ending in 2030. So on January the 1st, the value of the rebate dropped by around about 10%. But the good news is the falling cost of solar panels and inverters is generally keeping up with the annual rebate reduction. So the price you pay for solar is not really increasing year on year as the rebate reduces. When it comes to eligibility for the rebate, there are a few restrictions on who is eligible for STCs, but in practice, virtually everyone is eligible. So please be wary of anyone offering you a free solar rebate eligibility analysis to get their foot in your door. Now, listen up Victorians, you guys have a second separate state level rebate that you can claim on top of the federal STC rebate. It's administered by Solar Victoria and at the time of filming is worth $1,400. This rebate, unlike the federal one, is a little more restrictive. To be eligible, your household income can't be too high and you can't already have solar on your roof. So going back to the rest of Australia, don't let anyone rush you into buying solar, claiming you'll lose out on the rebates. The only reason to get solar sooner rather than later is to stop paying those massive electricity bills. And that should be incentive enough. If you're considering solar and don't know who to trust, my website, solarquotes.com.au, makes it really easy to get up to three free quotes from installers that I have personally vetted and trust. Just visit solarquotes.com.au, pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there.